There is corruption in the port, and we know it. Deal with that. You stop it there. Yeah? Let us work together to identify who amongst the people in this room are the thieves. It was a premonition of sorts. The president, clearly not impressed by operations at the Mombasa port, asked the port's management to redouble efforts to deal with graft and improve efficiency when he met them at the State House Infrastructure Conference in Nairobi earlier this week. And days later, the situation has worsened. Hundreds of trucks destined for neighboring countries stranded. The waiting game here, running into the third day, Mombasa port prides itself as the gateway to the region. Uganda, South Sudan, Rwanda and the Democratic Republic of Congo largely depend on this port. And when a hiccup at this facility causes delays, not for hours, but three days, it stretches the patience of all those concerned. Last Friday, Jana Madrid walikuja wakafanya maandamano hapa kidogo hapa. Wakatupatia ile kitu inaitwa weva. Gari zote zenye ziko ndani zitoke bila kulipa ile storage. Niko nachukua mziko kutoka hapa kwenda Kampala. Lakini nitakaa kama tuseme Monday ya asubuhi ndio tutoka hapa ndani. For 3 days now trucks have been stuck inside and outside the port because loading of goods has failed. Last week, 13 people were arrested over alleged fraud and cargo theft at the Mombasa port in a purge against corrupt cartels at the Kenya Ports Authority and Kenya Revenue Authority. Some of them were charged in court and released on bond. The deployment of new staff said to be complicating matters. Continue working with the same staff who were at those gates during that time when the containers were being removed. So we had to bring in measures since investigations are going on and those staff are being investigated to mitigate risks going forward. In mitigating risks comes an inconvenience that truckers and clearing agents want to be borne by Kenya Revenue Authority and its counterpart, the Kenya Ports Authority. The new stamp, uh, staff coming in place, you realize the speed at which most of them maybe are working is a bit slow, but we are working on that. That is their policy. But then what we are saying is that we need staff that are uh, active, staff that can cope up within reasonable time. While KRA confirms that clearing of trucks is currently ongoing at the port, it is incidences like these that raise concerns about the efficiency of an installation like this one that boasts to be the gateway to the region. At a time, the country is competing to make Mombasa the preferred port over the Dar es Salaam port in neighboring Tanzania. For Citizen Weekend, I am Anne Mawade.